you have a favorite book of the Bible to read? I do. Actually, I have several. It's hard to narrow it down sometimes. One of the places I like to go is the book of Psalms. There's just so much material there, so much truth. Uh, you have several different people who contributed to it, so there are different perspectives and different tones. And One of the passages that I was reading the other day was Psalm 143, and uh, it was interesting to me just to see the tone of this passage. I want to read a few verses for you and just mention a couple of things that I noticed. Uh, in Psalm 143, verse 3, and I don't know exactly what was going on. It appears that David wrote the psalm. Not sure exactly what was happening when he wrote it, but listen to what he says. For the enemy has pursued my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore, my spirit faints within me, and my heart within me is appalled. Not exactly uplifting, is it? I mean, it's interesting to me that David is talking about his enemies. When we think about David, we think, hey, he was a king, he was a warrior, uh, is, is probably from some battle. But notice that he says, the enemy has pursued me and, and pursued my soul. It wasn't David's body that was weary, it was his soul. And then later he says, my heart within me is appalled. I think that most of us can relate to that, can't we? The discouragement, the disheartenment that comes after maybe weeks or months or even years of, of difficulty, of struggle, of suffering, of pain, either emotional or physical. And I certainly don't profess to be an expert in anxiety or depression or mental health or any of those kinds of things, but I do know what it is to be discouraged. I do know what it is to be in pain and, and disheartened because of things that are going on around me or in my life. And as, as you read in this psalm, and, and please understand me, I don't mean this is an elixir, this is magic, that, that is just instantly everything is better. But notice the conclusion that David comes to uh, after a few more verses. In verse 9 of Psalm 143, he says, Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. David knew, even though it didn't magically fix everything, even though everything wasn't instantly okay, David knew that the key to dealing with what he was in the middle of was fixing his eyes on God. Teach me to do your will, God. I do know this, folks. When I struggle internally in my soul, when my soul is, has been pursued, when my, my spirit faints in me and my heart is appalled, I know that one of the things I have to do is fix my eyes on God, take my eyes off myself and focus my attention on God and his truth. And I hope that you can do that today as you live your life, as you struggle through whatever is happening right now, Focus your attention on God and His truth.